In this tutorial, let's create a very popular video inside the text animation by using DaVinci Resolve 16. Hey guys, I am Vikash for Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so click on this new project and I'm gonna call it text and click on create and click on this setting button and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080 and I am going with 60 frame per second. So set this playback frame rate 60 and click on save. Now we have to import our video clips that we want to use in this project. So go to media pool, right click on that, click on import media and I'm using these three clips and I will provide a link in the description so you can download these clips from that link and click on open. Now, if you want to change your project setting according to your video clips, then click on change. Otherwise, we have to click on this don't change. All right, now let's import first clip on this timeline like that. And I want to create a 5 second long text animation so we need a 5 second long video clip and as you can see this is not a 5 second long video clip so let's make this 5 second long so right click on this and go to change clip a speed and check this option a stretch to fit and let's make this 5 second long so set this a speed 84% and click on change and now we have more than five second long video clip. All right, now let's convert it into a compound clip. So right click on that, click on new compound clip and I'm gonna call it clip one and click on create. Now, as you can see, here is our clip one. Now let's remove this clip from this timeline and let's import our second video clip on this timeline. So just drag the second clip on this timeline like that and Let's remove this audio first. So select this audio, hit backspace button to remove the audio only. And now I want to keep this clip from here. So let's add a cut over there. So just select this blade tool and add a cut like this and select this move tool and select this extra part, hit delete button. All right. And now we have a five second long video clip. As you can see, now let's convert it into a compound clip. So right click on this. Click on new compound clip and let's call it clip 2 and click on create. Now let's delete this clip from the timeline and now we have to import our third video clip. So just drag this clip on this timeline like that and let's remove the audio by hitting backspace button and let's keep this clip 5 seconds long. So I'm gonna add a cut over here. So add a cut like that and select this move tool and just delete this extra part and right click on that click on new compound clip and I'm going to call it clip 3 and click on create and now let's delete this and let's create a text animation inside of this fusion tab so we have to take a new fusion composition so right click on this media pool and click on new fusion composition and i'm going to call it fusion comp and set the duration of this composition maybe around five second frame rate 60 click on create and drag this fusion comp on this timeline like that and now go to your fusion tab and here we get our media out so just drag this media out over here for now and let's close this media pool and let's set the size like that all right now let's take a text node so click on this text button and drag this text to the viewer and let's type a text whatever you want to type so i'm typing resolve and in this case, I'm using a agency FV font style. All right, and set it to bold and set the size of this text something around 0 0.35 and hit enter. All right, now let's import our first video clip. So go to media pool, select this clip one and drag it on this flow window 
and let's call it clip 1 so hit F2 to rename and rename it to clip 1 hit enter now let's merge these both outputs so let's take a merge node and close this media pool for now and let's connect this yellow background point with this text and use this text as a background and connect this green foreground point with this clip and use this clip as a foreground and now drag this merge one in this viewer all right now just select this and go to inspector and here is our operator so right now our foreground is over on this background so let's change this operator over to in and as you can see our foreground video clips is inside of this text background as you can see and now let's add a transform after this clip so just select this clip and click on this transform button to add a transform node and hit f2 and let's call it control and hit ok and now if you want to keep this node clean and organized we have to turn on grid snapping so right click on this flow window go to arrange tool and check this option to grid and let's arrange it like that now select this control and let's down the size a bit and set the size of this clip according to our text something like this now i want to use this clip for first three character res so set this clip according to these three characters all right now we have to create a rectangular mask for this so take a rectangular mask by clicking on this rectangle button and let's call it mask one hit enter and let's attach this mask with this clip like that and set this mask according to this res character like that all right now let's create a duplicate of these nodes so just select this hit ctrl c to copy and paste it over here by pressing ctrl v like that all right now i don't want to use multiple text copy so just select this text and delete it and connect this background point with the output of this text like that and hold alt and create a junction and set this connection like that all right and now we have to replace this clip one so just delete this clip and let's import our second video clip so go to media pool and import your second video clip on this flow window and place it over here and connect this with control and select this media in hit f2 and let's call it clip 2 all right now drag this merge to the viewer and select this control and i want to use this clip for ol so place it over here like that and let's attach this mask with this clip and select this mask and set it according to these two character like that all right and now we have to merge both outputs so let's take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this merge one and green foreground point with this merge and drag this merge to on this viewer all right and now hold alt on the keyboard and create a junction and set it like that all right now hit ctrl v to paste another copy and just delete this text and connect this yellow background point with the output of this main text like that and hold alt and create a junction and set it like that all right and now let's replace this clip so just delete this and we have to import our video clip 3 on this flow window so just drag this clip 3 on this flow window like that and drag this media over here and let's attach this with control and let's call it clip 3 so hit f2 on the keyboard and let's rename it to clip 3 
hit enter all right now drag it to the viewer and now i want to use this third clip for last two characters so set this clip over here for these two last characters like that and let's connect this mask with this clip 3 and select this mask and set it on these two characters like that and now let's merge these both outputs so take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this merge 2 and green foreground point with this merge 1 slash 2 and drag this merge 3 to the viewer and now close this media pool and let's fit this all right so as you can see it's looking something like this all right so let's create a border around these edges so we have to create a duplicate of this text node so just select this text and right click on that click on copy and paste a instance copy of this text so click on this paste instance now let's merge this instance so take a merge node so click on this merge button and let's connect this yellow background point with this merge 3 and green foreground point with this instance node and drag this merge 4 to the viewer now select this instance and go to this inspector window and go to setting option and now let's de-instance this appearance so right click on this appearance and click on this de-instance all right and now click on this option text outline all right so as you can see it's looking something like this now right click on this thickness and click on this d instance all right now thickness and appearance both are independent and other settings are dependent on this text layer all right now set this thickness 0.04 hit enter so as you can see it's looking something like this now click on this fit button maybe just down this value 0.003 and hit enter all right so as you can see it's looking much more better now i'm going to create another text layer so let's take a text node place it over here and let's take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this merge 4 and green foreground point with this text 2 and drag this to the viewer and select this text 2 and let's type another text whatever we want to type so i'm typing video inside the text and in this case i'm using a century gothic font style so click on this century gothic and set it to regular and let's down the size and list it over here set the size value around 0.04 hit enter and let's set the tracking value maybe around 1.2 hit enter all right so it's looking nice and set it over here all right now we have to create a background so click on this background button and add a background node and hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and rename it to busy and hit ok and let's take a merge node so click on this merge button and connect this yellow background point with this busy and green foreground point with this merge and drag this merge 6 on this viewer and now it's looking something like this all right now let's create a, a scale animation on this text so just select this merge 5 and add a transform after this merge 5 so select this merge 5 click on this transform button and let's call it scale animation and hit ok all right now select this scale animation and go to the end of this animation and set the size of this 0 0.9 and hit enter 
and right click on size click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe on size property and then go to very beginning of this animation and set this value 0 0.8 hit enter and as you can see we have a nice scale animation on it and finally connect this media out with this merge 6 so connect the output of this merge 6 with this media out and now go to your edit tab and as you can see our text animation is ready for render so let's have a look let's click on this loop button and let's play this all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye